Hi, welcome. Today we are going to study two important concepts of chemical energetics, reversible and irreversible processes. Now, what is reversible process? Definition is a thermodynamic reverse process is one that takes place infinitesimally slowly and its direction at any point can be reversed by an infinitesimal change in the state of the system. So now consider the first part of this definition. A thermodynamic reverse process is one that takes place infinitesimally slowly. So reversible processes takes place infinitesimally slowly. Now consider this diagram to explain what is reversible process. This is a cylinder fitted with weightless and frictionless piston. So this is piston which is weightless and frictionless. Now the pressure outside this piston is P and uh, inside also the pressure is P. Now at this position the pressure is balanced. It means that the pressure inside this piston and outside this piston is same. Okay, so the pressure is balanced. Now, if I decrease this pressure slowly, okay, now if I decrease this pressure slowly, then this piston will move upward. So, uh, when we decrease the pressure, the gas will start to expand. Now we are decreasing this pressure very slowly. Okay. Now this is one part. Now if consider we increase the pressure slowly. So when we increase the pressure slowly on this piston, that gas will contract. Okay. When we decrease the pressure the gas will expand and when we increase the pressure gas will contract so these two are the reversible operations expansion and the contraction so the first part of definition is a thermodynamic reverse process is one that take place infinitesimally slowly so we are decreasing the pressure or increasing the pressure very slowly and second part says us that its direction at any point can be reversed by an infinitesimal change in the state of the system. Infinitesimal change means again a small change. So as I have said that we, if we decrease pressure slowly or if we increase pressure slowly. So both these processes uh, we have performed slowly. So this is a reversible process which take place infinitesimally slowly and its direction at any point can be reversed by an infinitesimal change in the state of the system. Now, what is irreversible process? When a process goes from the initial to the final state in a single step and cannot be carried in the reverse order, it is said to be an irreversible process. See, now consider the second diagram. Again, this is a cylinder having a gas and fitted with a piston which is a weightless and frictionless. Now if we decrease pressure on this piston suddenly, okay, here I have said if we uh, in first case I have said if we uh, decrease the pressure slowly and here now I am saying that if we decrease the pressure suddenly. So when we suddenly decrease the pressure, the piston goes directly to this above position, which is a final position. Now this change cannot be reversed. Okay, because we have suddenly decreased the pressure. So gas expands fastly and goes to the final position. So again, see the definition. When a process goes from the initial to the final state in a single step, so here we have decreased pressure suddenly. So in single step piston goes from this position to 
final position gas get expanded and cannot be carried in the reverse order now here the reverse cannot be possible because it has changed place it go goes from initial position to final position then it is said to be an an irreversible process so uh, this is the definition of reversible process and irreversible process in reversible process the changes takes place slowly and here the changes take place suddenly okay so this is this is about the definitions of these two processes now we will see differences between reversible and irreversible processes now see in a reversible process it take place in infinite number of infinitesimally small steps and it will take infinite time to occur okay now why infinite time to occur because we are performing that process very slowly if we decrease the pressure we have to decrease it very slowly if we increase the pressure we have to increase it very slowly so it take infinite time to occur in irreversible process it take place in finite time here there is a print mistake there should be a space between in and finite irreversible processes take place in finite time okay so remember that that print mistake the in and finite these two words are separate second difference reversible process is imaginary as it assumes the presence of frictionless and weightless piston okay so no such a type of uh, piston uh, we can put on that gas cylinder that a frictionless and weightless piston so the reversible process is imaginary irreversible process it is real and can be performed actually okay third difference is it is in equilibrium state at all stages of the operation so reversible process it is in equilibrium state at all stages so at uh, during between these two all at all stages there exist equilibrium and in irreversible process it is in equilibrium state only at the initial and final stages of the operation so here there is a there is an equilibrium at initial position again at final position there is an equilibrium but at intermediate state as their intermediate stages are not involved no matter of equilibrium so equilibrium exist only at initial position and at final position fourth difference is all changes are reversed when the process is carried out in reversible direction here after this type of process has occurred all changes do not return to the initial state by themselves i have explained this point earlier then it is extremely slow reversible process is extremely slow irreversible process proceeds at measurable speed here work done by a reversible process is greater than the corresponding irreversible process and in case of irreversible process work done by a irreversible process is smaller than the corresponding reversible processes so this is about the difference between reversible process and irreversible process six points of differences are there okay so i hope that uh, you have understood what is reversible process and what is irreversible process thank you